Hello! Welcome to another episode of Random Mass Reviews. Unfortunately, neither Corey nor Rimmel could be with us today because they're both busy. But at least you still got me. It counts for something, right? Maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, since those two were too lazy to come, I was too lazy to shave. Eh, for the past week. Now, I've just been really busy. Uh, but we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about three all-new reviews. And in, uh, I suppose, in honor of the fact that I'm alone today, we're going to do reviews of things that are sort of alone in their own right. We're going to start with Red Solo Cups. See, I did it there, solo, alone. Yeah, uh, anyways, not important. Uh, first off, we would like to congratulate the solo company on uh, 75 years. I do realize that that was last year in 2011, but uh, better late than never. So, uh, belated uh, 75s. Yay, everybody clap. Um, anyways, now uh, I would give Red Solo Cups an 8 out of 10. Now, I'm sure there are people right now going, 8 out of 10, it's just a plastic cup. And there are probably other people a bit more drunkenly slurred than that, going, oh, right. But uh, I have my reasons, uh, so let's start with the good reasons, why it ranked up there so high. Now, I'm not sure about the new Solo Cups. They redesigned them in the past few years. But the old traditional Solo Cups, which I think are still out there, actually, uh, the old cups are great for measuring various alcohols. The first line would be one ounce. Amazing for liquors and, uh, you know, general mixing purposes. Uh, the next line up is five ounces. Works perfect for wine connoisseurs who aren't worried about the fact they're drinking out of a plastic cup instead of glass. Yes, not the best taste testing. Wouldn't recommend it. But nonetheless, five ounces wine, there it is. The next lineup is probably the, I don't know, most used maybe, as it is 12 ounces and works for everybody who likes to get flat out drunk on their beer. Beer. Wall. But that's another review. Anyways, um, that that alone says a numbers for solo cups, uh, solo cups supporting alcoholism since the 1970s. Um, but I also think they they various purposes. They're great for parties, beer pong, parties. Yeah, that that's about it. But nonetheless, that is good reason to give them an eight. Now the reason they didn't get a perfect ten is. For some odd reason, I have a hard time finding the old Solo Cups. The nice round ones, the perfect ones, the ones we were just talking about. Yeah, I have a hard time finding them. All I can find now are the new redesigned ones, which, you know, that they're not so alcohol friendly. Uh, anyways, uh, redesign, eco-friendly, no 10 for you. Uh, sorry, Solo. Don't hate. Um, moving on to the next subject matter. Now, uh, before I get to this subject matter and the third one also, uh, here at Random Ass Reviews, we kind of made a pact between Mike, Corey, and myself that we wouldn't review movies, television, video games, games in general. But you know what? I'm alone. I'm breaking the rules. We have two games to review now. Uh, the first two, not one. Yay, not so alone. Uh, the first of which also seems like an ode to the 1970s, as it is this game was invented in 1971. The game of which I am speaking is the card game Uno. Now, I love Uno. It's a fun game to play, but I can only give it a 6 out of 10 for the fact that... You can only play so much Uno. It's, like, I, I enjoy it. I can sit down. I can play it for a while, but it just kind of has its wear on you. It's, yeah. You know, it's it's not like other card games. You can't enjoy it as much with those solo cups as you can other card games. I'm, if somebody knows any Uno card drinking games, please feel free to email me. Uh, find my email on the website. Uh Anyways, uh, 6 out of 10, I don't really know what else to say about it. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, moving on to our third and final review for the day. Hide and Seek. 
alone. Hide and seek alone only gets a 3 out of 10 because it's no fun. Now, uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll do, we'll break the rules a little some more. This won't be alone. Hide and seek. Uh, it's a traditional, it's fun, I, I, I still enjoy it. Especially when those, uh, red solo cups are involved I keep talking about. Everybody enjoys it then. Uh, no, uh, hide and seek, uh, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, you kinda never outgrow it. It is, it's, uh, it's hard to explain. If you don't enjoy it, then... I'm kind of wasting my time even trying to explain it to you. It's it's one of those things that you have to experience it to know. Um, 9 out of 10. That plain and simple, flat out, it's on there for you. Uh, like I said, playing alone, 3 out of 10. I suppose if the red solo cups are involved, you know, it's, it's kind of enjoyable. That's why it gets a 3 instead of like a 0 or something. Um... Well, I'm sorry this was so scrambled together. I kind of did it last minute. I apologize for that. I uh, just didn't want to wait any longer to put up another episode. I mean, I made everybody wait, you know, like an additional week uh, for the last episode because I was on vacation. I apologize for that as well. Um, that's why I kind of pieced this one together. I didn't want to make people wait. Not that we have a ton of fans or anything. But, you know, for those of you who are viewing, thank you. We appreciate it. Um, that's it for the reviews. Now it's shameless promotion time. Shameless promotion time. Um, for anybody who's interested, I don't know how well you can see it. I'm wearing a limited agenda shirt. A limited agenda, as some of you may already know is um, going to be our clothing line through uh, Empty Thought Studios. Um, we're still in the works. Uh, we need to take care of the tax stuff, etc., etc. But um, we're right now looking to see who would be interested in uh, purchasing an initial shirt. Um, this is our base design right here. Uh, it definitely needs work. <laughs> Uh, right now, all that's on it, this is uh, the Empty Thoughts Thought Bubble. Uh, down here it says Limited Agenda. Um, for the finalized design, we're going to bump everything up on the shirt. I designed the shirt and didn't realize how low it would actually be until um, I got it. Uh, we're going to bump the design up a little to somewhere about here uh, so it won't ride so low. Um... I don't know what else we'll have in store. Maybe it'll be a surprise. I'll let people know in the future as I figure it out. Um, if you would be interested in acquiring one of the initial shirts, uh, feel free to email me at patsy at emptythoughtsstudios.com. Um, you can find that in case that was too hard and illegible to understand. Patsy at emptythoughtsstudios.com. Punk. Punk by B. Uh, no, um, in case it was... I don't know, uh, sometimes I speak too fast. Also, that S at the end of thoughts, you know, that throws some people off. Visit the website. Link below. Right down there somewhere. I don't know. It might not be down there. Maybe I won't remember to put it in. Editing fail. Um, now, anyways, visit the website if, uh, if you need anything. Uh, there's more pictures of the shirt on our limited agenda page on the site. Um... Like I said, email me, or if you know me personally, feel free to contact me through any other means you deem necessary. Also, if you're one of those creepy people who can find out anything about anybody online, I guess feel free to contact me by any means you feel. Uh, don't do something like the Hacksaw Killer and call and, you know, be like, I want to play a game, because that would severely creep me out. Uh, but anyways, sorry for lingering, folks. I hope you enjoyed the Alone episode of Random Ass Reviews, and uh, hopefully next time the whole crew will be here for you. Uh, if not, I'll do another alone one. We'll find some more random things. But uh, enjoy your day. Goodbye.